Are we live? What's good, great people? I am Eza Moon, and I have a special guest in the building today. Neville LaRue shall be joining me for a frank conversation. She's a food influencer, and we're going to jump into that. The frank conversation is sponsored by Body by Trini. Go to bodybytrini.com for all you bath and body needs. Hey! Hey! Hello, hello. Can you hear me okay? I'm, I'm trying to use my AirPods. Oh, yeah. Um, Make it a little bit easier. Yeah, I can hear you just fine. Okay. Okay. Well, now I'm going to assume everybody else can hear me too. Yeah, they, nah, they, <laughs> they, they better. Um, oh my God. So I'm so thankful to have you on this evening for a frank conversation. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I haven't seen you in forever. Hi. I know. I, I miss know. you. I miss oh you too. Gosh. I know. You guys, this is my little brother. I love <laughs> him. I love Bruh. him. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now that you said it, I'm about to call you Big Sis for the rest of this whole interview. Y'all like, I yeah. wouldn't expect anything less. I wouldn't expect anything less. <laughs> facts, facts, facts. Oh my gosh. Now I'm so happy to see you. Sincerely, um, I saw you know I saw you transition from you know last time I saw you were transition from Dallas to Oregon. You know how is how has that been? Honestly, it has been really interesting because I moved during the middle of the pandemic. Like I came up here for spring break, uh, for for spring break, and never left. So it's been really interesting. But honestly, it's been wonderful. I really like Portland and the area. Oregon is absolutely beautiful. There's so much to do here. The people are really nice. The food is great. Um, I like it so far. I like okay, it. Okay, so what, what what do you feel like as far as like the food out there goes versus the food in Texas? Who has, like, you know, for lack of a better term, who has more soul? Oh, God. Um, <laughs> that is not a hard um, decision. It is definitely the South that is bringing the soul <laughs> and the soul food. Um, <clears throat> the food in Portland is very unique. It is very well thought out. It's very well crafted. Um, but it is not what you are used to from Texas. I'll say that. <laughs> no, that definitely makes sense. I want to, you know, I was going to, you know, just go right into the questions that I, you know, that I sent over, but I, I want to definitely get into this one. So, okay. Okay. You know, you know, I told you I had one for you. Why is okra, why is okra the worst vegetable? Oh my God, I hate okra. I absolutely, I, okay, listen, I'm not picky about a lot of foods. There are very few foods that I just don't eat. And okra is at the very top of my list. I don't care if you fry it, dry it, curl it, freeze it, boil it, bake it. I don't care what you do to it. I do not like okra, period. Period. It's slimy. The texture is just off. I just, I don't care how hard you fry it. You literally, you can fry it crisp. I don't care. I still will taste the slime. My kids brought me some okra chips. They're like, miss, you said that we have to try everything once. So you have to try it too. So I'm like, you know what? That's fair. I'll do that. So I tried it. I'm like, y'all, it's still slimy. Like it's still, <laughs> oh, listen, I, I I have, I have a, a, I, I am very passionate about my dislike for okra. Right. Thank you, sis. See, see, even my no sister, she, no, the okra is just, oh, and I hate to say that because I understand how important okra is to the African American culture and things like that, but right. it just, it's just not for me. I'm sorry. It's just, you know, it's what's crazy. Me. You know, it's crazy. Like mine is, and uh, this is random. Mine is watermelon. Not like I'm a, I'm not allergic to it or nothing. I just do not like I don't like watermelon, bro. Like it's just not my thing. It's just not, not my thing. So so okra is at like the top of my list. And then right. if you go down just a little bit, you gonna hit watermelon. Cause I don't like watermelon either. <laughs> okay, so we are right here. See? Related. Cause here's the thing. Cause here's the thing. If you get a watermelon that's overripe and it's all nasty and mushy, it just ruins the whole experience. So, like for me, right. I just stay away from all watermelon. Nah, that, makes sense. <laughs> that makes absolute sense. That makes sense. Man, let me get into these actual questions that I have. Okay, for you. okay, okay. <laughs> um, you know, I saw your interview uh, on situations and conversations, and you mentioned that 
you know, you got into the whole blogging thing uh, prior to prior to the food influencing uh, because of your students. And I wonder, you know, what other lessons do you feel like you picked up from them that you apply to your, you know, that you apply to your influencer lifestyle? Um, mainly to just do it. They are, like I said, they are the reason why I'm doing this whole page. They talked me into it one day in class. They were like, you're always showing us what you ate over the weekend. Other people want to see this too. And I'm like, no, they don't. My, my students have always been my biggest fans. They have pushed me to do things that I never even would have thought that I would have done. Um, they're the reason why I, why I have started to show my face more on Instagram. Cause they're like, miss people, people want to see your face. You're funny. They want to hear you and do it. I'm like, no, they don't. And then sure <laughs> enough, they kind of do. And so, yeah, I, I, <laughs> basically just learn how to put myself out there like they taught me to just be me and to just go for it i mean you've always had that amazing energy about you like ever since i've ever since the beginning that I first, like, you've always had that. i was like you know what we're related i don't know how yet but we eventually are. you know we are. <laughs> we are for real now <laughs> for real for real now like yes we are. <laughs> um you know, I know, I know this, uh, there, there are quite a few things that different people do, you know, for therapy. Um, and oddly enough, mine is actually going into the kitchen and making my own dishes, um, as well as working out. Uh, but I wonder, you know, um, you, one of the things that you mentioned was that for you, making a grocery list was, that, talk to me about like that organization and how, like, it, it, how it is therapeutic for you. So I like everything surrounding food. Um, right. I like, like you said, making a grocery list. I like grocery shopping. I like the prepping, the cooking. I like all of it. But the making the grocery list is is a time where I am really just focused on that one thing. I am thinking ahead. I'm able to plan. I can really think out my week. Um, I'm able to sit and say, okay, what do I need to refresh on? What do I have too much of? What can I use this week? What do I need more of? And it's just a time where I just just feel relaxed. I feel like I'm in my zone. Yeah, no, I, I I can't lie to you. Like, whenever I, I reach that 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 um that gym high, where I'm like, all right, man, let me, I can do it. I can do two more sets. Just let's just keep going. Yeah. Let's just keep. That's when I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. I, I don't know nothing about no gym high, hey, look, but, look, but 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 it sounds similar it, to my it's, making the shopping list. <laughs> it's it's the same. You you just feel oh, okay. great. <laughs> said never. Oh, oh, no, no, mind. It made you. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I was like, That's never. Kina. Hi, Kina. <laughs> hey, um, you know, I wonder for you, talk to us about your, your, your uh, rating system whenever you uh, enter into a restaurant. What's some of the first things that you look for? Um, honestly, the first thing that I'm looking for is the overall ambiance and the right. atmosphere, but I'm also looking for customer service. Is somebody mm -hmm. speaking to me when I walk through the doors? Is there somebody standing there greeting me? Um, how are they interacting with their customers? The, the experience at a restaurant is just as important, if not more important than the food at the restaurant for me. So mm -hmm. those are kind of the things that I'm looking for. So what if, so if the experience is there, but the food is subpar, how are you, you know, I know you, you, you talk about, you give like the compliment sandwich where it's like, Hey, it's a it's something that I like. You need to pick up on this. And you, right. you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Wait, so, please, go ahead. Uh, well, I, I was going to say, so like if the service is really good, but the food is kind of subpar, then I, you know, I might not be going back a whole lot, you know, because it is still really important for the food to be good. Now, if the food is like amazing, but the service was kind of yeah, a little touchy, I'm willing to give them a second chance because I understand sometimes it's the night. Sometimes it's uh, the, the server itself. I mean, honestly, if the service was amazing and the food wasn't that good, I'd still go back probably. Right. I'd probably still go back. I'd probably still go back because you have to think like sometimes there's different people cooking in the kitchen. Right. So maybe, so maybe again, maybe it's just an off night for the kitchen. Maybe it's an off night, for, uh, excuse me, an off night for the staff. Right. Um, I'd give them, I'd give them another shot. I'd oh, give them another shot. That's real. That's yeah. real. I mean, honestly, I, I know. Oh, I was gonna say, if it's just absolutely horrible, though, like I've been to some places where the food was mediocre and the service is terrible. I don't return to those places. If yeah. both of them are bad, I'm just like, well, then no, no, thank you. 
how do you okay so how do you give a positive spin to a place like that or do you just not write about them at all oh <laughs> you probably wouldn't hear about them i just wouldn't yeah yeah there's actually <laughs> there's a place that i have saved in my drafts that i have decided not to post about in dallas because the service was mediocre and the food was i thought pretty pretty bad um and so you just have never heard of this place and I will never recommend for you to go to this place um and if somebody asks me specifically about them then I am more than willing to tell them my honest opinion cool <laughs> make sure you send it to me in a dm because okay. when I fly back there I'm gonna be like oh okay gotcha. don't right. go there <laughs> <laughs> my big sis said y'all 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 not what that is so nope Let's all right try again <laughs> Um, now I want to I want to go into you know what is what's been your favorite place so far you know out of all of the different experiences that you've had. Oh my gosh, there is this amazing place in Vegas that my sister in law's mother sent us to for Christmas. It was our Christmas present. Hi, Mama April. Hi, Britt. Hi, everybody. Um, and it's called Eh by Jose Andres, and it. It is truly a culinary experience. It was the most amazing culinary experience that I, I have ever, ex that, excuse me, I have ever gone through. Um, it was like 17 courses, I believe. So it's like 17 little bites that are hand curated right in front of you. Um, everything is like super unique. Nothing is what you think it is. Um, it might look like one thing, but then it tastes like something completely different. It's just so crazy to see the minds. Like, like food is art. And yeah. so when, when, when there are people who can truly create these gorgeous masterpieces that also taste amazing, to me, that's like top notch. So that for me has been the most amazing culinary experience I've ever had. <laughs> Most definitely. Okay. So look, those who, if you, if you heard that, look, and my birthday is next year. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen, listen, and, and, and you need to book out probably until next year okay. it is it is super exclusive i think there's like eight to ten seats per per night it's like it's like super dope it's like a restaurant inside of a restaurant it's just absolutely amazing absolutely okay. amazing so i'm adding that to my list of places because like i saw online like there's this place in japan where they serve like the most rare wa wagyu steak the wagyu steak mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. man oh my god yo have you it's had amazing oh my god yo like let me tell you something I've had I've had wagyu. Mm -hmm. like, I was like, oh yeah. No, this is this is different. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, so once you have really high quality ingredients, you you understand the importance. Like when I first started dating my husband, he he could care less about certain stuff until I you know really gave him some quality foods. He's like, oh. This mm -hmm. is what steak can taste like. Oh, this is what you know. This tastes like. I'm like, yeah. When it's when it's good quality and top notch, then it it it, it just changes the whole experience. <laughs> oh, for, for for facts, you know, I remember when I first discovered pink Himalayan salt. I started buying it. Like, hey, yo, look, look, look. I mean, it's 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 crazy, you know. Like, I it, for for actually being in the kitchen, I'm like, oh, you know what? <laughs> These different ingredients make this dish taste so much better. Why? It does. Have I not been exposing myself to these things? Exactly. But, exactly. No. But yo, tell 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 my in law say, hey. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Chef Riley is on. I wonder if he's still on. He has probably the most amazing culinary experience here in Portland. Um at at a restaurant called Quintrell. Oh, it's he he is out of this world crazy in his thought process of the way he puts foods together. He made the most amazing scallop I have ever had in my entire life with this congee that's like this um, creamy rice mixture, this creamy grain almost. Um, it, it 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 was just fabulous, just fabulous. Yeah, see, look, <laughs> that, that actually kind of leads me into this quote, um, you know, where. Uh, Author Kimberly Schlappman, she once said, I have so many just precious food memories that were that f just pr precious fond memories that re revolve around food. And that's why I have such a passion for it. I wonder for you, you know, what is your most precious memory when it comes to food? 
any any memory any memory I can think of of being in the kitchen with my mom. Those are those are by far my most precious and fondest food memories. It is she is the reason why I love food as much as I do and why I am such a great cook and why I have the desire to cook from scratch and cook from the heart and to feed my family and to, you know, do these things. And so um I don't have just just one memory. It's just all of the things that she's taught me from baking Christmas cookies together or frying chicken and making collard greens for Sunday dinner or a meatloaf. And I don't even like meatloaf, but my mom's meatloaf is good. <laughs> or um, her teaching me mashed potatoes and I absolutely love mashed potatoes. So I feel like I make good mashed potatoes because of her. Um, but just 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 any any of the things that she has taught me are, are definitely my my most fond memories definitely most definitely man so rest in peace i was yeah. i was gonna i was gonna definitely ask uh you know if that had the if that was one of the hands that you know pushed you along this along this path you know of uh, oh, going sure. to arts you know and it's it it seems like it is for sure, for sure. So my grandmother, my mom's mom, was actually a home ec teacher. Um, and so essentially, I am a, a former home ec teacher. I'm a former family and consumer science or culinary teacher. Um, and so it is, it's just been in my blood. My mom has always sewn my Easter dresses and our um, curtains and, and seat covers and she can okay. cook her butt off. And it's just, it's just been ingrained in me. <laughs> I don't sew though. Let me go ahead and put that out there. That <laughs> sounded like that sounded like I too sew. I indeed do not sew. Okay, I cook. I cook. I do not. I do not sew <laughs> at all. Look, let me just you know, let me just put that disclaimer out there. <laughs> hey, look, you know what though? Like I realize like how useful of a skill that is. Like I actually probably need to like one day like watch on YouTube yeah. because I mean you know. I mean, I can I can fix a button or like a zipper or something like that, you know, just like little stuff. But right. my mother was constructing dresses and garments and things like that. I'm not doing all of that. I'm gonna go. I'm I'm gonna go to Kohl's or Macy's or somewhere and just purchase my outfits. Okay. okay. So what if your daughter? Okay. So let's say hypo hypothetical scenario, right? You okay. in the in the future, right? Uh -huh. And y'all, y'all, y'all had a a beautiful young young lady. She's now 17. She's about okay. to. Um, but the prom dresses in the future are like twenty thousand dollars. Will you <laughs> look like I'm sewing? Look like you. <laughs> Will you learn how to sew? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, baby. It's gonna be hand beaded. Mama got it. Don't. Don't you don't you worry. <laughs> oh God. I'm gonna have to start her junior year so that it's finished by her senior year, po baby. <laughs> no thanks. Cause ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way. Twenty thousand? Oh, 20, did you say twenty thousand? Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Boy, that's that's no what way, that's what's not going to happen. So these are our options. You can wear these jeans and this t shirt, or I can show you. Your prom dress, either or, either or. <laughs> oh God! I'm I really hope it never comes down to that, my po baby. <laughs> Facts. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. <laughs> oh my God. Um. So you are a part of the great, one of the greatest sororities in the history of the world, and that is the Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, y'all. I gotta, you know, when, Look, when you wait say, a minute, wait a minute. Look at my earrings, bro. Ah, oh, dog, you are you have always been out. Ay, you, have, ay, you have always been out. Ay, yo, yo, my like, <laughs> yo, yo, like, yo, y'all understand. One of my inspirations to still be out at is sitting right here, yo. Like, <laughs> like my big sister. <laughs> y'all understand. I love it. I love oh. it. But no, let me get back to being professional. <clears throat> okay. okay, sorry. Let me uh, do this. So, uh, you know, how has the sorority, though, helped you along your uh, journey of success? Uh, definitely the networking opportunities that have presented themselves and mainly the support that I get from my line sisters and my saras and things like that. They are always watching what I'm doing and 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 sharing my stuff and commenting and, and sending 
all of my recipes around. De Bella, ma'am, I'm sorry. Bella, look, she said hi. Say hi. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's probably that's probably been the best part is 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 just having their support and like I said, the networking. Most definitely. You know, um, I wonder for, for you, uh, I know you mentioned the sharing, um, the, the, um, oh, the commenting and things of that nature. What are some other ways that, that people can support you on your, on, you know, as you progress forward? Honestly, those are really the best ways. Supporting me is free. And, right. and, and I tell people that supporting my business from, from, from like a friend standpoint is absolutely free. If you guys can just share what I'm doing, like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notifications, tell people all about me. Hi, Glam Kitchen. How are you? Um, tell people all about me. Let them know that Neville LaRue is here for anything you, you have a question about. If it deals with recipes, restaurants, or reviews, I love all about food, anything about food. Um, and so, yeah, really just, just, just support, sharing, saving, telling people all about me. That's all. <laughs> Most definitely. So y'all, y'all heard that. So, you know, please, please, please continue to share. Yeah. Uh, you, you love to see it. You really love to see it. Um, now, as far as your goals go, you know, I know you, I know you, um, I feel like you want to continue to do these um, reviews. I feel like you want to continue to, you know, uh, you know, be in these restaurants, letting them know, hey, you know, this is great. Fix that. But this is great as well. So, yes. uh, you know, what are some what are some other goals that you have for your brand? Wow. So I definitely want to keep putting out a couple of recipes here and there. I have some Halloween recipes coming back out that I'm revamping some football uh, time football season type recipes. I've got some holiday recipes coming. Um, but I also want to continue to teach people about cooking and about being in the kitchen more. Um, I'm, I'm all about teaching the basics, teaching people what knives to use, what, um, excuse me, equipment to use, things like that. Um, simple recipes to get you through the week or, you know, in order to feed your family on a budget or whatever the case may be. Um, but I also want to keep hosting things. I like, I like talking about food and, 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 and showing people about food and, and things like that. And so um, hopefully some opportunities, I can't really say a whole lot, will present themselves in the future um, for me to, well, okay, so if you have followed my stories, if you've seen in my stories, I was in Houston last month doing um, a filming for like a little web series. And so I don't have a whole bunch of details on it just yet, but I am able to host it um, in, in, in my own way. And so it's, it's been a lot of fun. I've been able to hit up some awesome um, black owned businesses. I went to Houston first. Hopefully the next stop will be somewhere in the DC area is what I'm hoping for. Where I'm at? I'm hoping, I'm hoping. I don't know just yet. I don't know just yet. I don't know just yet. We are speaking it into existence. Um, <laughs> so hopefully that'll be like our next stop or so. Um, but that whole hosting side of this foodie world has been tons of fun and something that I never thought that I was going to get into. Um, but I have really enjoyed doing it. So hopefully I kind of navigate that, that road a little bit more. Most definitely, uh, we it's, it's going to happen, and uh, you know what I'm saying everything that you want to take place will take place because you know you. You, one you are you and you are you are highly favored. I'm telling you, uh, Thank you. I'm oh, my gosh, I, I can't wait, I can't wait for the future. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I want to get into the goal of this show, um, and then I have like some rap rapid fire questions for you. If you don't mind. But the goal of this show is philanthropy, garnering support from the onlookers and putting it towards a charity or nonprofit that you care about. What charity or nonprofit would you like to spotlight today? And why is the cause that it faces so important to you? So the charity that I chose today is the Brain Aneurysm Foundation. And it is a very important foundation for me because my mother passed of two brain aneurysms. And so I am all about raising awareness to stop the pop. Gotcha. And if you want more information, their website is bafound.org. 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 Most definitely. All right. 
So what I, what we're gonna, what I want to do is I'm gonna make sure I put that inside the uh, comments, and also I'm Thank going you. to also uh, tag them at the bottom of the uh, video to let to okay. those that watch this who feel like who feel inspired by you to go support, they'll go and support. Um, thank you. <clears throat> No problem. No, thank thank you sincerely. That is the first time the the brand aneurysm foundation has been mentioned on this show, and um, I told you I re I respect your reasoning, and I, you know, I hope I hope um, more 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 knowledge is spread on stopping the pop. Uh, favorite food. Oh my gosh, seafood. Favorite drink. Uh, iced tea. Well, sweet tea. Sweet tea. Favorite animal. Dog. Rue. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. That was a good one. That was a good one. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, favorite grocery store? Oh, ooh, Trader Joe's. Favorite chef? Oh, oh, ooh. Mm, that's tough. That's tough. That's Right. Go for the, 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 go. You can always. I'm Carla trying, P. Hall, Marcus, uh, Marcus I'm trying Anderson, to help you. Uh, Jose Andreas. Uh, oh my God. There's so many. There's so many. I like Riley Eggerson here in Portland is one of my favorite chefs that, oh my gosh. Um, Gregory Gordo here in Portland is one of my favorites. That, that is a loaded question. That is rude. <laughs> that, that one was rude. I tell you. Yo, I thought I'd help you. I was pointing at my, I was pointing self. Just go for self. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm not a chef. I'm not a chef. You, you tell me. No, no, I'm not. I'm not a chef. I'm a damn good cook. There's a difference. Okay. There's a difference. I have not <laughs> gone to culinary school. I do not have that same culinary background. I do not put myself on the same pedestal as those amazing chefs that I just named. I, I, I am a, I am a really good cook. And I am good at teaching people how to cook. I am not a chef, though. I'm not a chef. That's real. I'm not. That's, I'm not, sorry. I'm not. <laughs> because you, you, I, I, that's real. That is real. That is real. Yeah. Okay. So you once said, and I and then I'm, I'm, and then I have like one more question after this one. You once said that um, you didn't know what food influencer was. Have you finally like given yourself like the de the full depth definition of food influencer? I think I have. I, again, am all about teaching people about food, period. Whether it is about learning how to cook through recipes, whether it's about trying different foods through restaurants, or whether it's about different products and brands to use through reviews. And so I really do encompass all of that. Recipes, restaurants, and reviews. Um, I want people to think of me when they think of food. If they're not sure how to do something in a recipe, I want them to come to me. They're like, uh, what does this mean? How do I, you know, broil something? come to me. If you are in Portland or Dallas or you are visiting one of the places on my highlights and you want to know where to eat, I want you to come to me. If you are trying to figure out the best pots and pans to use in the kitchen or a knife set to buy or a different spice to use, I want you to come to me. If you think about food, I want you to think of Neville LaRue, period. <laughs> that is. That there is you go. That is <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> before we close out, and you know, um, this is a tradition here. We always like That'd to leave lovely. words of wisdom for the next generation. So, I wonder what words of wisdom would you have for those that will that will come to an impasse of doing what is safe for a living and pursuing what will make them happy. Always do what you love. Mm -hmm. The money and the success will come. As long as you are truly dedicated and you're giving your all and you are truly centered and in, in my world, you are keeping God first, mm. everything else will fall into place. So follow your heart, follow your dream, and God will make a way for everything else. Hey, there it is there. Big sis, thank you so much for your Thank seat. you. This was so wonderful. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Look, this um, was fabulous. Hey, man, you know, it's this is this is what this is what I want to do with my life. 
Um, so yeah, you know, we just gonna speak, you know, we just gonna keep pressing forward. I and, love it. I love it. Thank you so much. For real, for real. Uh, we're definitely, uh, definitely gonna shoot your message later on. And I appreciate it again. Thank you. Thank you so much. No Thank problem. you. Bye. Bye. That was my big sister, y'all. Um, root to the saw rise. Uh, yeah, man, that's my big sis right there, bro. Like, y'all definitely go go support. Um, the charity that she mentioned was the Brain Aneurysm Foundation. So that is bafound.org. Once again, that's bafound.org. So we are going to support, support, support. And we're also definitely going to make sure we support her. Uh, big shout out again to my sponsor for the evening, and that is Body by Trini. I will be tagging them at the bottom of this video. If you are in the market for all types of soaps and scrubs for different parts of your body, and as well as body butters, in different smells. They got different smells for the body butters. I can't wait. I'm y'all. When I say I'm gonna give like a, a genuine honest review, I'll probably come on here with my shirt off and start like rubbing like the, the body butter on me. And if it's good, you'll know because I'm gonna be like, oh, this is amazing. But I'm feeling y'all. I'm, I'm letting y'all know it's actually already good. I already know it's good. Um, but yeah, anyway, that being said, y'all, uh, I'm Eza Moon, dollar sign E Z E L M O O N. If you enjoy what I do here, and uh, yeah, um, thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'm Iza Moon. I'm not doing it unless it's fun and it helps people. Peace. Purchase my book, Purple Mike Wants a Bike, at Amazon.com. You can find it there. Just type in Purple Mike, type in Iza Moon, and it'll pop up. If you guys want to follow me, no, not even if. Go follow me at EZMoon underscore on Twitter and Instagram. I'm EZMoon, and I'm not doing it unless it's fun and it helps people.